Where are we now? Where were we yesterday? <laughs> Salubrious Coventry. Is where we were. Where did we fly in from before that? Um, I actually can't remember. Italy. Italy. <laughs> 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 I was just, uh, no idea. Yeah, no fine. idea what day it is. I was just sharing our logistical nightmare that was getting back from Lake oh, Garda. Yeah. By Copenhagen. You'd think and, it, and it flights as well. Yeah, and it was unbelievable. Moving. Oh, well, the train was booked, but then there was, of course, a national rail strike. So, so then I had to get a car back which made it a four hour round trip. Part of me thought we could have driven the GT3 home. It's, it's, well, it's kept here. It's kept here most of the year. For no great benefit. No great time. So I'm quite excited about this because frankly, normally when brands pick you up, they stick you in, in sort of some generic people carrier to shuttle you from the airport. But Lotus has gone full rock and roll. And in here somewhere is an Electra, which is going to be super cool. I never thought my first time in an Electra would be on the way to the Nürburgring. So here it is. Look at it. What a machine. Look at this. Wow. How cool. Massive boot. Good start. What do you think of this? This is definitely the, the better side of the airport transport that we normally have. Cool, isn't it? Interior quality is super good. Look at that. Wow. Nice, nice big, big plaque. The interior is stunning. It's very, it's very pure and simple. Love it. Sculpture on the seats is gorgeous. Yeah. Big panoramic roof there. Massive touch screen. And look at the instrument cluster. Super, super reduced. Speakers are very cool, and of course there are cameras for wing mirrors, so there are screens in the doors. Nice little detailing everywhere, and it looks like it's got a lot of legroom, which is always a perk. Check out the back of the seats, look at that. What a finish. The details which are spread around this car are quite something, aren't they? They're everywhere. Yes. It's the little, yeah, yeah. there's the ACBC so monogram, is that it? Yeah, yeah, here, yeah. yeah. Uh... It's impressive because it it almost looks like it's a concept stage, but it's real, which is a feat in itself. But you really could adjust it as a touchscreen. Yeah, you adjust it as a touchscreen. So if, if, Matt touch, if Matt touches that, yeah, it, it, just I'm in reverse. it brings up the option to choose. Yeah, you, okay, see, you choose yeah, the camera and then you just drag the image. How great is that? You, wow. can, you can adjust it off the, there's buttons on the steering wheel to do it as well, but that's just way cooler. It's not until you sit in it that you appreciate just how much leg room you've actually got. How great is that? It's got so many cool details. Hasn't it? Yeah. Details are amazing. We're really the light, but yeah. So what's this here, look? Audio, or spatial audio, stage audio. Very true. Look at that. Wow. It's cool, huh? See that when you turn the temperature. Oh yeah. When you dial the temperature, it changes in that little light bar. The details are that. spot on, look at this. How great. All right, unboxing time. We're gonna roll, this is a bit of a roll of the dice because normally we wouldn't come on a shoot so imperative with such a brand new kit, but I reckon we've got enough experience now with Insta360s. What was that thing know. you were telling me about Apple products and this speed at which it, they make it so tight? It's not an Apple product, it's an yeah. Insta, but they've obviously- They put, it, they, they, they deliberately they make They engineered like a vacuum into the packaging so when you open it it has that sort of yeah. effect look at that that is actually really, really well <laughs> presented look at that look at this it's tiny kind of stuff. I don't know anyway. how it gets everywhere <gasps> oh <gasps> nice. he's done that's a nice. <laughs> they put some thought in to this this is some really cool johnny ive level uh, packaging conveniently both so happen to be wearing caps so this that's a cool feature you can angle it yeah Tight that. Here we go. There you go. That is very cool. Oh, it's ready, ready to run. Really it's really good. That's really good. Look, we've put us with that. It's up here now. That's mad for a quick piece to camera. It is, isn't it? Just for throwing. It's face track that is as well. Yeah, it's got face track. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. How crazy is that? Just to clarify, there's a lot of influences of the word would be. 
sort of throwing Insta360 equipment around and that was not a paid brand deal. Well, we no, actually no, paid them for it. In depth review by any means. No, we just we paid them for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a novel concept, but I know. For two. For two. We bought two, two of them. Actually, it is really worth it. Well, the weather forecast is so Thursday, 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 some chocolates. Oh, I got that. Okay. Someone's had my polo away. Maybe the cleaners had it. I think you actually went, <laughs> look, what? Right, the cleaners have it. <laughs> Hello, Hello. 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 They have. They have. It's not good. What's that? Did you get another ring pillow? No. I think this is from the hotel as it happens because you can buy it for 16 euros 95. It's currently rainy Tuesday and we have a full day on track with the Avaya road car tomorrow on the GP circuit, which is why I was commenting on 2,000 horsepower and it being wet, because that'll be an interesting set of circumstances. Today, I'm gonna to drive a 2,000 horsepower hypercar on that circuit. Anyway, got to go find Yorkie, find the Lotus team, definitely grab a coffee because these are my tired eyes. And um, saying that, I don't, I don't think it matters how much caffeine I have. 2,000 horsepower is going to do a much better job of waking me up. Yeah, that's a good spot. There you go, Yorkie. You always wanted a, a built-in <laughs> tracking cam. Oh, imagine. Look, yeah, there it is for you. <laughs> I just noticed these crazy little aero winglets. Yeah, I like it a lot. Sure thing. Morning. Morning, how are you? Yeah, very well. Great. Don't worry. Thanks, Alex. It's good. Bigger than you think. I like it. I like it. Okay. So all these cameras around here as well. Yeah. Um, camera pops out of here, camera pops up over there. Camera pops out of here? Yep. I mean, it's rigged. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is just it's a ready, it's well, it's one big tracking car. Yeah, sort of, yeah. It's ready for fully autonomous driving in the UK I when see. it becomes available. Okay. Oh. So you can do a software switch and it'll just yep. it'll, it'll drive itself. Ready. It'll be ready to go, yeah. What are we living in? One of the coolest coolest. You like it, don't you? That's one of the coolest brands ever. Do you know they still retained a degree of yeah. rock and roll these guys. They haven't sanitized themselves yeah. like a lot of brands. Yeah. Good you Good to see you. Thank you for coming. There you are. Wow. Look okay. at this. It's got to be one of the, one of the greatest sculpted cars of recent times, isn't it? It's got a colour. <laughs> you know, a lot of the time, brands will give us like a black car or a dark grey car because it sort of, you know, looks nice. But for thumbnails, we need the punchiest car we can find. I think Lotus have ticked the box for the punchiest car we've ever driven. I mean, what is that? It's like neon backlit red. <laughs> that cool. What do you think of the badge in uh, black and silver, Yorkie? Oh, yeah. Oh. Pretty cool, actually, you know? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, man. It's uncut, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that's my get-up course. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it again. Look at this, this is terrible. Breaking all the cameraman rules. Oh, look at the pedals. <laughs> so nice. Look at them, look at that. I think one of my favorite features Hang has up. got to be the exposed inboard suspension on show. How trick is that? <laughs> what the? That's <laughs> crazy. The aero is off the charts. One thing electrification does allow for is you couldn't make that shape with an internal combustion engine. Good point. Hadn't thought of that. You know what I mean? So this this sculpture would otherwise be, by the realms of physics, an impossibility based on how cooling, engine placement, drivetrain has to be installed in a chassis. You couldn't do that. 
So that's a cool thing. Okay, so not only have we got the pit lane downstairs, we've got full hospitality suite upstairs, but from a, a filming point of view, you got the balcony. The podium. Oh yeah, I've always wanted to. <laughs> he isn't joking either. Oh, right, yeah. Look, so from a filming point of view, we've got this option, which I'm very much looking forward to seeing if I are coming down this pit lane. That's gonna be awesome. And look what we've got, not to have the cliche chat, but the weather. We have the weather. How cool is this? I can't wait until like four o'clock-ish when the light's yeah. just right. And that what a view, sort of check it out. Graphics, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's getting there, isn't it? Isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and this car will be special. There's, there's more customers who can explore with the car. Mm -hmm. You get reactions like this. And yeah. Yeah, that's why we've we yeah. got so much confidence in the bar. It's, yeah. it's a serious piece we can uh, do. I'm, I'm sure. Traditionally, you have like, oh, yeah, I got all can. Yeah. 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 Back of VTEC days. Right? Yeah, yeah. And get that 6,000. <laughs> we still get that with the electric motor. I like, can get that kind of tone shift is really yeah. like build up pace so it's still yeah. kind of like a familiar really? um, it's still an rpm yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. yeah. like jack right there very impressive yeah and uh, still another eight hundred horsepower. Oh, i know right. it's 800 horsepower down right now i know and that's <laughs> that is the benefit <laughs> like an entire center yep. lacking yeah i'm worried where it will be it really does scare he scares me you think yeah stick it in there Roll on that. Okay. okay. Ah, oh, your arm. Which arm is that? They're not going to be able to do much about that. If you can hold that as far as you're not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to crop in. <laughs> yeah, we're cropping in the edit, it'll be fine. Just look straight up, bro. I'll Don't probably be like, like that, mate. That sort of area. Yeah. Yeah. And the bottom left one is D. Okay, so that's in drive now. Yep. Okay. All right, you'll have to forgive me while I talk to myself. Okie dokie. All right. Okay, so this is somewhat of a monumental moment. I've been in awe at the sculpture and design philosophy of this car for literal years. Okay, so this is somewhat of a monumental moment. I've been in awe at the sculpture and design philosophy of this car for literal years. And today we're here, rolling out onto the GP circuit at the Nürburgring. And it's important to remember, today's all about that there. I mean, it's going well, isn't it? It's really weird because obviously you associate sound with speed. Like you know when a car's on full chat that it's it's going fast visibly it's fast and you can hear the aero working like you can really hear there's a sort of air noise tire noise but it's hard to gauge speed because you don't have a reference of sound it's an interesting one i think as well from a driving point of view it's it's important not to underestimate our relationship with sound within a car to know what it's doing in everything from gear change points to the overall car condition and vibration and that that conveys a lot to you through what the car's doing, so it's going to be really interesting from a from a driving point of view. I mean, if let's just contextualise this: if you were to get into a a conventional internal combustion engine car that generated two thousand horsepower, you'd bloody know about it because <laughs> the sound would be absolutely insane. It's almost like the sound is representative of how much power it has whereas this is the opposite mm -hmm. it's got like all the power in the world and no sound so as a as a sensory balance that to me is intriguing so tune in to the big video to see how that conveys good day, man. hey good day first drive in the uh the lotus of fire this one was only running 1200 horsepower because uh, it was in tall mode, which is a sort of road bias mode. But one day I'm gonna I'm gonna feel what 2,000 horsepower feels like. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> but yeah, 
You'll have to, I'm not sure which one's going out first, but I'll probably put the uncut out afterwards so I can say click the link below so you can go and watch the proper one.